what's up guys right from ARK here and here I have the sharp fire this was a somewhat old nerf gun and I kind of like this due to its c96 carbine esque look I guess you could say take that off and then you have the barrel within the stock which is kind of nice for storage instead of carrying it in your pocket or using it as like something else like a blow gun you know so you just it looks like this looks like the mauser c96 okay that's what i think it looks like especially with the front and the top loading action instead of putting a clip in but my problem is it it's only got one shot for each clip supposedly i guess you could say and the thing with this is it it locks you can't cock it. You have to pull all the way back until you hear a small click, and then you can push it forward. And then you have the stock, which makes it look like the C96 carbine from World War One, which I kind of like the look of. The problem is it's still kind of tight and small, but it, it's got a good firing range on it. It's got a good spring in it, and... I really like the way it loads. It kind of comes in handy, but th then again, the the locking is is a problem. Cause when you're like in the midst of a nerf war or something, you're gonna be you're gonna be struggling with it. And then once you figure out that you can push it all the way back when you hear it click, then you can finally push it forward, load the gun, and pull the trigger. But the thing is with this, you have to push a button on the bottom to get the stock out. And with the Nerf brand new lines with like the modulus and the old end strike lines, there were tack rails on the barrels and the pumps mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Here, there's nothing, nowhere, anywhere at all. That's what I don't like about this, but if you have the barrel on it, the barrel extension, I like the iron sight that it has, because you can see through here, and then these two, and then you can see, and then you can see the, uh, the end. So like that, I could clearly see where it was going to hit, and this is a very accurate gun at close range. At long ranges, I suppose that you should probably take the barrel off, even though the barrel is rifled. The, par the dart probably will not touch the barrel, which kind of sucks. So it would probably just slow it down through the barrel. And with this supposed Nerf gun, if you want to call it that, even though Nerf has probably downgraded this thing so many times before, there was also the second version of this which came with no barrel and no stock which was somewhat of a problem for people who had bought it but the stock option you can carry six darts with you plus the one in the barrel and sometimes if you're lucky enough and the dart won't fall out you could put one in the barrel when it's in the stock and use it like that but dearly I keep it just either like this or with the barrel on the front to fire. I mean, because of my smaller stature, this gun might help with like smaller people who are just starting with Nerf and like small kids, four or five year old kids who can barely pull this back yet and then pump it and finally fire. Okay, so. Here, we are test firing the sharp fire and the stock weapon from the strike and defend kit. The stock fire, well, sharp fire, stock fire, you could call this one, I guess. The sharp fire, we'll be, we will be firing first. Alright, okay, so with the sharp fire, I will be aiming at the light switch at the end of the basement. Okay, now, we fire. Sharp fire did not hit its mark. 
this is then again another problem with these smaller spring rifles that Nerf makes. I mean, yes, they made up for it in attachments, the stock in the barrel and the extra dart storage, but the distance is a problem. They need to fix the distance, put in like a stronger spring. Yeah, I know that you can mod it and take the spring out and replace the spring, but I think that they should just have a just a tougher pullback, better spring stock-wise, and if you wanted to modify it, you could modify it then. Now, we will be test firing the stock weapon from the Nerf Modulus Strike and Defend Kit. We will be firing at the same place, the light switch at the end of the basement. And this does have a dart. It is not, it's pumped, it has a dart. And we are now ready to fire. stock weapon from the Nerf Modulus line did pretty close to hitting its mark, but then again, it only curved to the right from where I am standing, and it did not hit the light switch, but it did hit the wall, so that is a good thing for this air canister jolt stock, I guess you could call it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on what you want to see next, don't forget, God bless us and God bless America. That's it. I'm out. Go.